last uh, video uh, you can find what is the kernel of t now here we are to find the image of a linear transformation of a linear map So suppose we have the two vector spaces V and U. So let V and U be two vector spaces. Over the same field. If and T is a linear mapping from V to U, a linear map, okay, then the image of an element of P under T. So then image of T that is simply we write I am the I am the short form of image I am to T M T is equal to T of T such that T belongs to V. Okay. So here uh, the Graphically, this is you can draw like it is V and it is U. Okay, now T is a transformation from here to V to U. Now, if you take all element of T, where is mapping basically? All these points are going. This one, where all the elements of B is mapping, so this one is that image of T. So image of T, you can see this is a basically a subset of U. It is not only subset; this is also forming subspace. So this is our first theorem. So it is saying that suppose T J linear mapping from V to U. Okay. Be a linear mapping, linear map. Then image T forms a subspace of U. Okay. We are not going to put that theorem, which is state. Now we we'll find that image T. Now we we'll find what is the image T. Okay, for a given example. So let that T is a transformation from R cube to R square. Defined by T of x, y, z, x plus 2y plus 3z, x plus 3y plus 2z, or x, y, z in R. Now we have to find what is the image T. Okay. Now we will take any element of V. Now any element of uh, image T. Sorry. Any element of 
image t is of the form p of x y z right so this is the any element x y z is any element of p if you take the transformation of this any element so it will be element of image t right so you can write this one as by the definition of the transformation x plus 2y plus 3z comma x plus 3y plus 2z right now from here if you take common x so then it will be y if you take common from these two so you will get this one and z you will take so you will do this one so you can see that any element of this r square or, or any element of image t is linearly spanned by these three vector right so this is basically image t you can write this is that linear span of 1 1 2, 3, and 3, 2, right? So, image 3, any vector of image 3 is the linear span of this one. Now, here is another concept, it is called the rank of the transformation. Rank of the transformation. What is the rank? Rank is the dimension, so rank of a transformation of, of T. So T basically we use the transformation. So rank of T is that dimension of image T. Okay. Now if you go back to the previous example, <coughs> so image T here is linear span of these three vectors, right? Now these three vectors cannot be linearly independent right? why because the dimension of r square is 2 and image t is a subspace or subset of that uh, r square so these three are not linearly independent you can see that you can write 1 1 uh, let's write here 1 1 as a linear combination of these two right how can you write if you take one fifth of the first vector and one fifth of the second vector, then you get one one. Right? Therefore, these two are vectors. So you can remove one vector from here and that vector. <coughs> as here, all the for all the terms involving which is the vector is non-zero. So you can remove any vector from this set that set will be linearly independent right so these two vectors are linearly independent and that is also span the image t therefore the dimension of image t is 2 that is basically the rank of t 